good evening everybody today we'll be seeing another new chapter that is called inflation uh this chapter is important basically for your both prelims as well as for mains and after going through this chapter you will get a better clarity on you know how to answer questions based on monetary policy because it's very much interlinked with that part so before understanding monetary policy inflation becomes uh, understanding inflation becomes an important thing so without getting delayed let's get started so inflation ke bare mein jab yahan pe baat hoti hai so what is inflation so i've given you an example here or i've given you a definition here first of all so inflation is nothing but increase in general price level and fall in purchasing power to understand this concept in a better way i have given you an given you an example here that of a boy called sham so what happened was sham on 5th june 2022 sham's mother asked him to go to the shopkeeper and get rice for that she gave her gave him 100 rupees and told him to get rice from the shopkeeper so sham on 5th june went to the shopkeeper gave him that 100 rupees and in return of that 100 rupees sham got 5 kg of rice so what you can derive from this situation is that cost of rice per kg was 20 rupees that means 20 rupees per kg of rice jo tha uh, sham ko mila uh, jab usne 100 rupees pay kiye matlab 5 kg rice mila next time again the rice got over over the period of time and now on 10th july 2022 his, his mother again asked him to go to the shopkeeper and get rice this time also she gave him a 100 rupee note and when sham goes to the shopkeeper and gives hands over the 100 rupees to him the shopkeeper in return gives him only 4 kg of rice this time so what you can derive from this situation is that the price of rice has increased by rupees 5 because now he can only get 4 kg of rice that means per kg of rice was costing him 25 rupees per kg so what you have understood from this situation is that what you have understood from this situation is that i'll just rub it off that means first of all what is happening because of inflation is that first there is a general price level increase so general price level pehle the price of rice was 20 and now it has become 25 second what is happening is that there is a fall in purchasing power of the money fall in purchasing power as in previously this with this 100 rupees sham could buy 5 kg of rice but now with the same 100 rupees he can only buy 4 kg of rice so you can see that the the real income or the purchasing power of that money of this 100 rupees has fallen down or eroded and this situation is nothing but we call it as inflation and that why it is bad for the economy it is bad for the economy because it erodes your real income real income means with certain amount of money how much basket of you goods you can buy that bas- quantity of ba- uh, goods goes down when you pay the money to the shopkeeper or from wherever you want to buy that that means your real income or your purchasing power has gone down and that is the reason why inflation is bad for the economy now from the other example you have seen two things first is that we have calculated the inflation through what we have kept a base price to calculate the inflation or the base time you can say so first uh, for, to calculate the inflation we have kept 20 rupees uh, uh, the cost of rice was kept on 5th june and to calculate the inflation we have uh, uh, the current scenario we have used the date for 10th july what i'm trying to say here is that whenever we calculate inflation we always have a base year tabhi to we can derive the answer ki kitna hum log ka inflation hua hai pehle kitna tha aur aaj ke din mein kitna tabhi to hum log derive kar payenge so in the above case also hum log ne kya kiya base year kisko rakha hai fir base time kisko rakha hai 5 june 2022 ko and current scenario jo 10th july 2022 se hum log derive kar pane ki rice ki rice mein kitna inflation hua hai price of rice mein similarly india mein there are lots and lots of commodities that are being produced in order to produce these commodities uh, you know different factors uh, of uh, f- uh, you know different uh, factors of production are involved and when these different factors of uh, production are involved they are being paid in factor payments so that's a different chapter altogether to calculate the inflation what we do is we uses two indices or we can say we uses two scales The first scale is actually called the wholesale price index that calculates the average change in price from the wholesale level and another one another scale is that of consumer price index that again calculates the average change in price from the consumer or retail level okay so you can understand that ki ye do alag alag scales hain jisse hum log india mein calculate karte hain inflation kitna ho raha hai ab next important thing you have to know here is that 
who publishes these scales or who publishes these indices so the wpi is published by economic advisor which comes under ministry of finance and mof is ministry of finance and the consumer price index is calculated by central statistical organization i'll write it down for you central statistical organization which uh, that comes under ministry of statistics and program implementation and labor bureau so these two are the organization or these two are the authorities that publishes wpi and cpi respectively so when you saw here that when we are calculating wpi hum logo ko kya samajh mein aa raha hai wpi calculate kiya jata hai first stage of transaction mein that means kisi ne produce kiya aur isko fir ek wholesaler ko becha उनके बीच में कितना एवरेज प्राइस बढ़ा है फ्रॉम अ करंट ईयर से 2011 टू आज के दिन में कितना इनके जो ट्रांजैक्शन में बढ़ोतरी या कम कमी हुई है इसको कैलकुलेट करते हैं जब हम लोग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन जब इन्फ्लेशन को मेजर किया जाता है वो किया जाता है डब्ल्यू में एंड फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन के ट्रांजेक्शन के इन्फ्लेशन को मेजर जब किया जाता है वो किया जाता है कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स में थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू नो fourth important point uh, about the indices that you have to know and which is very important and this question was asked in prelims as well in 2020 prelims direct question pucha gaya tha so when i'm talking about the wholesale price index in this in index or in this scale in this scale only prices of or, or only the prices or inflation in inflation of only goods are calculated that means you know there are services also in an economic services as in teaching is a service uh, you know beautician is a service as in aap kisi dukaan mein jaate ho aur aap apne baal katwate ho to wo aap wo aapko kuch return mein de nahi raha jo barber hai wo kya kar raha aapke baal kaat ke rakh raha hai bas and aapko ek tarah ki service provide kar raha hai teacher ka aapko kuch physical kuch tangible good de nahi raha hai wo aapko sikha raha hai kuch so that means he is providing certain kind of services so in the wholesale price index what i am trying to say here is that the inflation or rise in change in price of only goods are calculated but when i'm talking about the consumer price index cpi the average change in price of goods and services are also calculated that means jo services ka dam 2010 mein tha suppose hair cut ka dam 2010 mein was say 100 rupees and 2022 mein it's around 100 and 220 rupees so we can say that there is an inflation of 110 rupees since the year 2010 in services what services haircut or beautician services so that's what i was trying to say so when we are calculating the commodities in commodities part in the wholesale price index only the goods are calculated and in consumer price index goods and services both are calculated i hope this is clear next important thing you have to know here is that in wholesale price index there are 676 items as compared to cpi that has only 260 items and in consumer price index the weightage the weightage jo weightage hai food items ka food items ka wo 49.17% hai as compared to food weight food items ka jo weightage hai aapka wholesale price index mein so you can say that food weightage of consumer price index is greater than wholesale price index okay i'll explain it to you why when we come back here again so just for the timing uh, uh, try to memorize the fact that there are more items in wholesale price index as compared to uh, consumer price index first secondly in wholesale price index only commodity only goods are taken into account while in consumer price index both goods and services are taken into account next thing is your base year as i told you in the previous example of sham a base year was taken into account that of rupees that of you know 5th june 2022 and 10th july 2022 so what you can derive from this is that for calculating wpi the base year is 2011 and 12 and calculating cpi the base year is 2012 so सो किसी बेस ईयर पे ये हम लोग इन्फ्लेशन को कैलकुलेट करते हैं इनका बेस ईयर मैंने आपको दिखा दिया नाउ वी कम डाउन टू टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन सो वेन एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन देर आर मेजर कैटेगरिकली डिजाइन इन टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन दैट इज वन इज हेडलाइन एंड अंदर वन इज स्कोर सो फर्स्ट वी सी द हेडलाइन तो वॉट इज हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन वॉट इट डज इट कैलकुलेट्स द रेट ऑफ चेंज इन कंज्यूमर प्राइस लेवल और वॉट इट डज इट मेजर्स 
द रेट ऑफ चेंज इन कंज्यूमर प्राइस लेवल तो कंज्यूमर प्राइस लेवल में कितना रेट ऑफ चेंज हुआ यानी कि 2011 की 10 में कोई आ, पन, 2015 में कोई प्रोडक्ट था 2015 में कोई आइटम था सपोज कोई मोबाइल फोन था सौ रुपए का एंड 2021 में वही सेम मोबाइल फोन उसकी टेक्नोलॉजी बढ़ा बढ़ा के वो हो गया दो सौ का तो कितना कंज्यूमर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इसमें कितना चेंज आया वो कैलकुलेट किया जाता है हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन के द्वारा रेट ऑफ चेंज इन कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स ये मेजर करता है हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन एंड एंड ऑल्सो मेजर्स एवरेज चेंज इन स्टैंडर्ड बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस एंड हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन में यू कैन से देर इज अटैंडर्ड बास्केट ऑफ बोथ गुड्स एंड सर्विस आर ऑल्सो अकाउंटेड बिकॉज एज आई टोल्ड यू प्रीवियसली इन सी मैंने आपको यहाँ पे दिखाया भी था इन सी पी आई बोथ एवरेज चेंज इन प्राइस ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस आर टेकन इन टू अकाउंट सो सेम इन हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन ऑल्सो द एवरेज चेंज इन प्राइस ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस आर टेकन इन टू अकाउंट नेक्स्ट वेन वी मूव डाउन टू कोर इन्फ्लेशन तो कोर इन्फ्लेशन बेसिकली हेल्प किया जाता है डब्ल्यू पी आई को कैलकुलेट करने में एंड इसको कैलकुलेट करने के लिए हम लोग को सिंपली क्या करना है जो भी अपना हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन निकला है उसमें से हम लोग क्या माइनस कर देंगे फूड एंड फ्यूल पे कितना इन्फ्लेशन हुआ है तो खाने की वस्तुओं पे और फ्यूल पे कितना इन्फ्लेशन है उसको जब हम लोग हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन से माइनस कर देते तो हमारा कोर इन्फ्लेशन निकल के आ जाता है तो ये भी आपको बायहट करने का है ज्यादा चीज समझने की नहीं है सो so, इसमें आप हम वील कम बैक टू दिस अगेन वेन वी फोकस मोर ऑन यू नो ऑन मोर कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी जब हम लोग और चीजों को मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी को पढ़ेंगे तो हम लोग और बेटर तरीके से देखेंगे टिल देन आप इतना ही चीज ध्यान रखिए नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट बिकम्स अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट इज एक चीज मैं यहाँ पे मिस कर रहा हूँ या इन्फ्लेशन को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए एक कर्व बनाया गया है दैट इज बेसिकली योर फिलिप्स कर्व इसमें क्या किया जाता है आपने आपको एक्स एक्सेस वाई एक्सेस प्लॉट करना आता होगा दिस इज योर एक्स एक्सेस दिस इज योर वाई एक्सेस वेन एवर वी आर प्लॉटिंग ऑन अ फिलिप्स कर्व वॉट वी डू इज इट शोज एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट and inflation level. What I'm trying to say here is that just a minute, sorry, ये थोड़ा सा मैंने गलती कर दी What I'm trying to say here is that uh, I'll write here inflation and unemployment here. So higher the inflation, lower is the unemployment. and lower the inflation higher is the in- unemployment so this is a very important concept that can be plotted on the phillips curve ab now why this happens i'll show it to you now okay i'll show it to you now so after understanding this concept you will be able to understand what is demand pull inflation and what is cost push inflation in a better way so let's do one thing let's hum log yahan pe aa jate hain ye aap samajh pa rahe hoge ek inflation likha hai ya unemployment likha hai and this is x axis this is y axis so higher the inflation lower the unemployment lower the inflation higher the unemployment rate now what happened you must have heard about this thing called four factors of production what are the four factors of production labor land capital and enterprise and when these four factors are combined together they are used to produce a certain kind of good or commodity hai ki nahi aap koi bhi saman produce karna hai koi bhi vastu produce karni hai kuch bhi kaam karna hai aapko koi bhi business start karna hai to aapko ye char cheezon ki zarurat hogi aur jab aap in char cheezon ko payment karoge to hum log inko kya bolte hai factor payment i hope you are clear about this thing so labor ko how do you pay you pay in terms of wages land ko how do you pay you to pay in terms of rent capital ko how you pay you pay in terms of interest and enterprise ko how do you pay you pay in terms of profit or entrepreneur kuch bhi bol lijiye now when we come down to this situation higher the inflation what i'm trying to say is that when there is more price rise of particular good and commodity and fall in purchasing power what happens let's assume an example of mobile phone now what happened was there are 10 people demanding Five mobile phones in on say twenty fifteen. Now over the period of time in twenty twenty, what happened? The number of people increased from ten to thirty, but the mobile phone that are being produced are only five. Now what the producer will do in this case? Because there is a higher demand for these mobile phones. First of all, what he will do? He will try to increase his profit. or what he will do he will try to maximize his profit by selling the mobile phone at a higher price first thing 
and second thing what he will do with the extra money that he got he will invest this money invest this money invest this money in four factors of production ये चार फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन में पैसा को लगा देगा ताकि अपना प्रोडक्शन को और बढ़ा पाए वट आई ट्राइंग टू से हियर इज दैट प्रीवियसली देर वर टेन पीपल डिमांडिंग फाइव मोबाइल फोन नाउ देर आर थर्टी पीपल बट द मोबाइल फोन दैट आर बींग यू नो इन दैट आर देर इन द मार्केट देर आर स्टिल फाइव सो नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू मीट द एक्सेस डिमांड ऑफ द पीपल द वॉट द प्रोड्यूसर विल डू ही विल इंक्रीज द प्राइस ऑफ द मोबाइल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेकेंडली ही विल विद एक्स्ट्रा मनी ही विल ट्राई टू प्रोड्यूस मोर एंड मोर क्वान्टिटी ऑफ दिस मोबाइल फोन so what he will do ab iske paas extra money aa gaya so he will invest more in labor he will acquire he will hire more labor he will get uh, he will uh, you know rent out more land he will invest that money in buying in buying you know uh, machinery and other equipments to that are used to produce mobile phone and he will try to again maximize his profit so what i am trying to say is that when there is inflation in the economy what happens the unemployment level goes down because more and more people are getting employment in this scenario more and more people are getting in employment in this scenario because there is an aggregate demand is higher than aggregate supply and in this case what happens uh, when the inflation is happening because of this reason there is fall in unemployment or when there is you know higher inflation there is fall in unemployment that means there is un, uh, unemployment levels are less but at the same time when the inflation levels are less that means less and less people are being employed that means uh, le- the, uh, sorry when there is less and less uh, price of the particular commodity the less and less amount of people are being employed so when the price of general goods and commodities uh, are less that means people are not buying more people are buying less in that situation when there is deflation you can say the im- unemployment level goes down and this theory was given by one of a very famous economist so but this theory was proved wrong when we come down to the concept of cost push inflation so you understood i think what i'm trying to say here is that philip curve is a curve that sh- plots the relation inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment so when the inflation is high unemployment levels are less or you can say employment naukri logo ke paas zyada hai aur berozgar kam hai aur jab inflation kam ho jata kam ho jata hai to berozgari badh jati hai unemployment level badh jati hai aur wohi plot wohi show karta hai aapka philip curve to yahi cheez ko concept ko jab hum log aage aur acche se padhenge to we see about jab hum log ye next cheez ko dekhte hain yahan pe aage aake causes of inflation we read about demand pull inflation so demand pull inflation very very much satisfied the theory given by that economic scientist of the philips curve that means there is higher inflation that means as a result unemployment level is less or or you can say employment level zyada logo ke paas zyada naukriya hai but when you come down to cost push inflation this scenario reverses and as a result what happened due to cost push inflation aggregate supply is more aggregate demand is less and more and more people are thrown out of jobs out of jobs so in order to explain you this we'll have another video jahan hum log is causes of inflation ke bare mein discuss karenge to get a better understanding till then thank you and have a nice day